it's Channel Us. Brought to you by McDonald's. This week, it's music production. These are meant to be like levels of audio. Slide up. Who's doing it? It's Henry. Hey. Hey, man. How's it going? Yeah, good, thank you. All good. So, how has this last 72 hours been? Oh, it's been a bit of a madhouse, to be honest. Can I just have the, can I just have the guitar? Just, just the guitar, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's not really working for me at the moment. I'm bricking it. Music director Simon Little was on hand this week as Henry's mentor. Let's take a look at what advice he gave. The first most important thing is what your vision is, lyrically and musically. There are no shortcuts to creating something which is intrinsically good. People will have an emotional connection to a sound. So if you do put a dirty sub bass line is something people will think of when they went to a club and heard that. In 72 hours, I want you to have finished the track, finished the lyrics, collaborate with musicians, record and mix it so it's a releasable product. That's a lot of work in 72 hours. Let's take a look and see if Henry took on Simon's advice. We want you to get involved. If you want to take part, yes, you watching right now, then go to channelus.com. There should be some really strong, powerful vocals on the chorus, maybe with a really good harmony. And I'd really love some strings and the kind of bridge up to the chorus. I think that'd be incredible. My aim today, I suppose, is to find out what people's strengths are and what they're best at playing and doing, and then kind of try and fit that around my vision that I've got. Hi, everyone. Thank you for coming. I play bass. I play violin. We're guitarists. We heard that Channel Us were after some singers. I've written the bare bones of a song, but with all of your help, hopefully, we can make it a really cool track and get it finished. Roaring proudly, jungle lions. To remember lyrics and to actually everyone to know what they're doing is quite complicated. Usually, you take a while to gel with musicians. Can I just have the, can I just have the guitar? Just, just the guitar. That's, that's cool. Vocalist. I'm not dying. You've done a really good job, but we're going to make it bigger. I'm giving you 10 musicians to add to it. Adding to the pressure, they're all going to be recording the tracks separately, which then you are going to have to put them all together. That's pretty stressful. Everyone's behind different doors, so it's quite exciting because no one's been able to hear what each other are doing yet, but there's a nice buzz, nice energy going on. Can we, can we try just bringing you in like one at a time? E C, C, C minor. How does that work with W plus two? Stay back. Yeah. Can we work on getting that part locked down? I'm quite worried about how long we've got left. That's awesome. Yeah, I really like it. Really cool. Today I'm recording the track. All the parts have been recorded separately. So you've got the violinist, you've got the vocalist, you've got the bass, the drums. The problem with that for me is obviously it's more easy for things to go wrong, I suppose. So I'm really, really nervous because there's a lot to do. Uh, if one person's off, it could throw the whole thing. At this stage, I think there's not much I'd want to change. I think this is much better than it was yesterday. Things are taking a little bit longer than anticipated. I think the kind of changing and the setting up is taking longer than we thought. Um, so you want to just add, with, add in a bit of frilly bits over the top? Yeah, just kind of layer swells, on top. Yeah. Some swells, yeah, perfect, just to give it that kind of extra depth. Minutes, yeah. I'm quite anxious about getting it all done in time um, and making sure that the vocals are on point because obviously there's a lot of vocalists um, and some of them only, only learned it yesterday. La 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 la, put 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 la 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 la. la. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> not really working for me at the moment. For us as violists, we found it quite tricky to keep in time and keep in tune because you can't make any mistakes and not be noticed. We're really nearing the end of the day. We want to make sure we've got enough time at the end for the mixing um, and, and there's a lot more urgency now. Yeah. 
The gap at the beginning, I... Yeah, a bit extreme. I feel like the violins could be a little bit louder. Nathaniel comes in with the third verse. I just think there should be something else there. I, I'll work on trying to make that a bit less... A bit less obvious, uh, yeah. Obvious. Hopefully, within the short space of time we've got, we can get a finished product for tonight. Normally, it would take a few days to do this kind of thing. I've got one more little surprise for you. Right. Now, it's not just your musicians that are going to be listening to it. We have a couple of people from the music industry. <laughs> More pressure, more, more pressure. pressure. Oh my god, okay. Ollie's just told me that I'm about to play the track for industry professionals, uh, which is insane, uh, so ridiculous. I have literally no idea how it's going to sound. And I think everyone's really excited to see what it actually sounds like. It's sort of built up all day. We've had people come in and out saying they've done this, they've done that, they've done this, and we're really looking forward to finally hearing it all come together. So I'm about to play the track back to everyone. I'm bricking it, throwing everything I've got into it. It's all been really difficult. Thank you all so much for coming. Uh, it means a lot. It's been a very, very stressful uh, 72 hours. Um, a lot's happened. It's been a bit mental. Um, everyone's worked really hard, met some really cool people, um, and hopefully you will enjoy it. You had 72 hours to put all of this together. Yeah. I threw in 10 extra musicians and you did amazing. How do you feel? Exhausted, Yeah. Um, but over the moon, really chuffed with how it all turned out in the end. Do you want to do it again? Not right now. <laughs> Is it how you envisioned it to be when you first wrote it on the guitar? Not at all, no. Um, it's almost in some ways better. I didn't see it being so orchestral and urban, I didn't really you know, see that, so it's kind of gone further than I thought it would. But also, at the same time, I didn't realise how hard it would be to do it in 72 hours. It genuinely has been physically really trying. We had, like, two studios, like, five minute walk away from each other, and every different I'm instrumentalist in a different room. So, like, two drummers, four violinists, like, a bassist, two guitarists, four vocalists. No, no one knew each other. So it's literally, like, first day, like, right, here's the song, let's go. It sounds so current and so relevant, and I think, like, it's something that you could hear on radio. I like the track, I like the track. I think that Henry and the musicians involved should be really proud of themselves. It felt young, and I always like when music sounds young and fresh, and I think it definitely had that. When I walked and I saw the musicians, I was like, yeah, it had that sort of infectious energy to it. It's been intense, but it's been amazing. Like, really, really, really great to be a part of it. It was a lot more urban uh, than I thought it was, but that was the kind of feel that Henry wanted, and I think that has come across within the music. I think looking at everyone's reactions when the track was being played, you can see, you can see people's feet going, you can see people's heads nodding and looking around and nodding to each other. That, that's what kind of makes it worth doing. Now, next week, we're doing something a little different. First off, we'll be in the Isle of Wight. How cool is that? But the challenge will be a double header. Du, du, du. We're helping 19 year old James upgrade his local skate park and put on a massive skate jam for his community. In the first 72 hours, James will have to design and lay the foundations for the skate park. And in the second 72 hours, he needs to finish the build and put on a massive skate jam to relaunch the skate park. It's a biggie! We want you to get involved. We're looking for skaters, artists, carpenters, basically everyone and anyone. Go to channelus.com and tell us about your skills. Thank <laughs> you.